The Mystic Spearhand vocation is an incredibly fun playstyle in Dragon's Dogma 2, and it's something I highly recommend everybody try out at least once. However, because it is an advanced vocation, it is a little bit harder to learn than the other ones. But in this video, we'll cover how to unlock it relatively early on in your playthrough, so that way you guys can start investing in this build and unlock its true potential very quickly. Your first step in this journey is going to be getting to the main city of Vernworth. If you follow along the main quest line, you will eventually get here in about an hour or two, give or take depending on how much you want to wander around and do side quests, but you do need to get to this main town first. Once you get here, you're going to be talking to the character Brent, and he's going to have you meet him at this tavern at nighttime. You can even talk to the bartender here to pass the time if you need to. Once it's nighttime, you're going to talk to Brent, and he's going to give you three quests. Accept all three of them, just keep in mind you're not going to need to complete all three right now, you just have to pick one and do it. Now before you turn in any of these three quests, you're going to first do the ox cart quest. This is going to unlock the ox cart fast travel, which is really nice. So make your way towards Vernworth where the ox cart is and just kind of hang out here. Eventually an NPC will approach you and offer you a quest, make sure that you accept it, and then get on the cart and head to Melv. If there is no ox cart here, you can sit down on the bench nearby and just pass the time. Once you get to Melv, hop off the cart and find the NPC Lunart. Give him the letter and then head back to Vernworth to complete the quest with Donovan. Now that the ox cart quest is done, you're going to finish one of those first three quests that you got from Brent. So just do one and then head back to the inn to talk to Brent at nighttime to complete the quest. Now with that quest done, you're going to head back over to that ox cart and you're going to ride it back to Melv. Now, I don't know if this is required or not, I don't think it is. However, just to be on the safe side, I would recommend waiting a full day before you get on that cart. So once you've done that and you've gotten on the cart, you're going to be heading over to Melv, and then there should be a dragon in the city that the townsfolk are fighting. Do note this character with the spear on his back, that is the Mystic Spearhand NPC that we're going to be talking to later. So remember where he is, and you're going to talk to him as soon as the dragon fight is over. So anyways, fight the dragon. The weak points on the dragon is obviously the kind of like red pustules on his body, so aim for those to do extra damage. As soon as the dragon flies off, immediately run over to that NPC with the spear on his back and talk to him, because he will leave. Once you talk to him, his name is Sigurd by the way, you're going to ask him about his manner of fighting. And boom, there you go. Now you have unlocked the Mystic Spear Hand vocation, and now you can run around and fight with a dual spear and shoot some magic at people. And there you have it. That is how to unlock the Mystic Spear Hand vocation in Dragon's Dogma 2. If you guys enjoyed this one, let me know by leaving a like and subscribe to my channel. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments section about this vocation and how much you guys are enjoying the game despite all of its bugs. Thanks again for watching, I'm still Solo, and I'll see you all in the next one.